Lauren here. It's good to see you. Our devotions this week have us practicing the habit of self-examination. Sometimes when we examine ourselves, we find that we're inadequate. That's just a really big word that means not good enough. In God's eyes, we aren't good enough to earn our own salvation. But through the sinless death and resurrection of Jesus, we get forgiveness and life everlasting. What a gift. Now that we're forgiven and saved, we have a job to do. God wants us to tell others about Jesus and his cross of salvation. We might not feel like we're good enough for this job. We might feel inadequate. But you know what? God says we can do it. God says when we tell other people about Jesus, God will be with us and give us the strength we need to, to share the good news. You know how I know this is true? I know it's true because of what God told Moses through the burning bush. Let's read that story together. Moses had to escape from Egypt to save his own life. He went to another country where he lived for 40 years, taking care of sheep. One day, something happened to Moses that was of great importance for him and for the rest of the world. Near the mountain called Horeb, as he was watching his sheep graze, Moses suddenly saw a very strange bush on the mountain. The bush was on fire, but it didn't burn up. Moses climbed up the mountain to get a closer look at the bush. Just then, God called to him from inside the burning bush. God's voice came from the fire and said, do not come closer. Take off your shoes because you are standing on holy ground. Moses did what God said, but he was very afraid. I would be too. But God said to Moses, do not be afraid because I am with you. I have seen my people, the Israelites, suffering in Egypt, and I have not forgotten them. Tell Pharaoh that the Israelites are my people and I want my people to leave Egypt. Moses, you must leave them out of Egypt. Moses was afraid to go back to Egypt. He said to God, who am I to go and say this to Pharaoh? I am just a shepherd and I cannot leave the Israelites. But God said, I will keep you safe. Take your walking stick and use it to perform miracles in Egypt. You will lead my people to Canaan, to the land that I promised Abraham. Go now, and I will be with you. Moses was still afraid, but he obeyed God and went back to Egypt. God said to Moses, you can do it. I will be with you and I will give you everything you need. When God has a job for us, he will give us strength that we didn't even know we have and people to help us. We should never say to God, I can't do it. God will make sure that we have everything we need to do God's will. God's will for Moses was to free the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. And that's what happened. God's will for Jesus was to free all of us from the slavery of sin. And Jesus did. And as children of God and as children of Jesus, we will be free forevermore. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for showing us through Moses that you can do great things through inadequate people. Help us to trust your will. Give us strength to share the good news of Jesus with others. Thank you for loving us, God. We love you.
In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. Bye now.